the country together, Obama takes another step back for military action. People say, oh, he mismanaged. Oh, he let the Al-Qaeda group that they changed the name to ISIS. I mean, it's still Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda flags, but oh, Al-Qaeda is not a problem. The Tea Party's the main enemy, and ISIS isn't a big deal either because, you know, they have a new name. And only Rand Paul has the courage to come out and say, no, our government helped create ISIS. We're going to play a clip of that coming up. But that's the issue here. You see, it's so sensational that they're putting cancer viruses in the vaccine. Just type in polio vaccine cancer virus. And then you look at the new vaccines, they keep finding them in there that just so happen to be extremely virulent and just so happen to be time released because it's all designed that way. They estimate 100 million Americans died from cancers related to the polio vaccine. On purpose, by the way, boys and girls. Continuing, ladies and gentlemen, again, I just keep throwing that out to remember who we're under. Remember, remember what happened, we now learn, a few decades ago in Ireland with thousands of children given experimental vaccines that were actually kill shots to kill them, violent deaths, and then throw them into a giant septic tank to rot. Oh, we have good guys running things. No, we don't. And they can run al-Qaeda publicly and turn Iraq over to it and then act like they didn't fund them and arm them in Syria. And our media can say, time for the Prime Minister of Iraq to step down. Openly, our government using al-Qaeda as a proxy, a proxy army, they can get away with anything. And they'll get away with nuking a major U.S. city down the road. I predict that they may do that, that it's in the cards. I predict they're contemplating it. I predicted they would start saying their biggest fear was a nuke going off in Manhattan. And Obama came out in March and said just that. Didn't even say who he thought would do it, because that's how they take full control. If you're the globalist who want to conquer America, how do you do it? You stage a giant horrible attack, claim the Tea Party's working with Al-Qaeda. Told you that was coming years ago. Now they say the Tea Party works with Al-Qaeda in Pentagon training drills to take over North Carolina. Forbes magazine. Now, continuing here, ladies and gentlemen, we have Dianne Feinstein saying we're going to be killed uh, and, and that there will be people to disrupt uh, a, a, a plot in this country. So we need her. We need her to save us from the terrorists they publicly run. So let's go ahead first and go to Dick Cheney saying another 9-11 is coming, but far deadlier. And I, I agree, far deadlier because the people that control him, he's just their little emissary, the mouth of Sauron. The mouth of Sauron is telling you, you better be afraid and subconsciously, we know the threat's real because we know who's behind it. Let's go to it. If we spend our time debating what happened 11 or 12 years ago, we're going to miss the threat that is growing and that we do face. Rand Paul, with all due respect, is basically an isolationist. He doesn't believe we ought to be involved in that part of the world. I think it's absolutely essential. One of the things I worried about 12 years ago and that I worry about today is that there will be another 9-11 attack and that the next time it'll be with weapons far deadlier yep. than airline tickets and box cutters. And it will be run out of Saudi Arabia publicly and groups publicly armed by our criminal government. And I'll be called a traitor on air, even though I'll have 100 clips plus of me saying exactly that before it happened. In fact, the day they set the nuke off, they'll probably take clips of me saying it years ago and say I said it that day. They've done that before. And, and let me tell you something, when they set the nuke off, folks, they will probably assassinate me, Rand Paul, Ron Paul, and others hours before. In fact, that's the only balloon you're going to get. The only warning will be they'll wipe out the Liberty leaders, a couple hundred of us, hit teams in one hour. And once we're gone, so we can't sit here and warn you, they will detonate a nuclear weapon or they'll release a, bio, a biological weapon and all hell, or maybe both. Remember, I predicted the anthrax shot on 9-11, the anthrax breakout. Let's go to the next clip. Let's go to Obama from March talking about the nuke. Here it is. The number one national security threat to the United States. Uh, I continue to be much more concerned when it comes to our security with the prospect of uh, a nuclear weapon going off in Manhattan. Okay, uh, let's now go to another clip. Uh, we've got a uh, Diane Feinstein uh, as well. We've got a couple clips here, uh, but next up is uh, Rubio, Senator Rubio, on Al Qaeda in Iraq. History is trying to repeat itself. Here's that clip. 
Well, if you look at what happened before 9-11, the reason why al-Qaeda was able to carry out the 9-11 attacks is because they had a safe operating space in Afghanistan. No, they had, they had Saudi the Arabia. Taliban had given them. The US and now history is trying to repeat itself here. ISIS is trying to establish the exact same thing in the Iraq-Syria region that they're increasingly controlling. And then from there, from this caliphate that they're setting up, they will continue to recruit and train and plot and plan and eventually carry out external operations in Europe and potentially even here in the United States. So this is a very serious national right. security risk for the immediate and long Look at that little talking head puppet. And again, George Lucas in Revenge of the Sith tells you the whole plan. The emperor is running the terrorists that are attacking the planets. And he uses that to set up a police state to then wipe out the Jedi, then wipe out the rebels and totally take over. And that's what they're doing with this. So for anybody that doesn't understand this, so I have reporters here 50 times probably say, we don't understand false flag, how's it work? It's real simple. You take over by running an outside threat, Al-Qaeda. And the reward to Saudi Arabia is turning over the whole Middle East to them. Don't, don't people understand that? More clips coming up. So my elementary school aged child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-968. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. Do you ever feel like you live in an alternate universe? As the stock market hits, hits new highs, the middle class are dying. Manipulated financial markets and economic figures, chaos on our border, China and Russia bypassing the dollar. Life is getting ready to change. You need to prepare to thrive in the new economy. Go to babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866 229 0927. That's 866 229 0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. Listen up, all you preppers and survival enthusiasts. Sigma 3 Survival School has a brand new survival instructor training program that will teach you everything you need to know about survival and then license you to teach our survival programs so you can make a substantial profit from it. If you have always wanted to learn to be completely self-reliant and would like to make money at it, then check out Sigma 3 Survival School Survival Instructor Program at survivalschool.us or call 479-561-3886 today. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Alex Jones here back live broadcasting worldwide. We're going to have reporters the last 30 minutes from the border bridge where the Border Patrol guards the bridge to allow the illegals to come across and only tries to stop media. They've done it to Breitbart and others. We've had it done to us. We're going to be live there on the Texas-Mexico border. And we've got other reports that they filed last night that we're going to be airing as well. Now, remember, with the backdrop of nuclear weapons detonating, give up all your rights, Obama and Cheney, uh, Feinstein, we've got to disrupt the terror plots. Oh, my gosh, I'm a hero. I'm Dianne Feinstein. Turn your guns in. I love you, but I've got a concealed carry. 
uh, you know, we're good people. Take your shots, drink your fluoride. We love you. GMO is good for you. Drink some Roundup. It'll help you. It'll help you die, of course. While these scum run things and tell us, give up all our rights and the TSA fans out on American highways and the army is at public events everywhere searching people's purses just randomly to train you to be slaves, the border is wide open. So just remember that and never forget it. It's all a hoax. We've got to break with the system and let them know we know you're a total fraud. And that can happen. The Australian uh, president... Prime Minister has now come out, and they are uh, shooting down the carbon taxes. Justices have limited the EPA's shutting down our power plants here. A huge Supreme Court ruling. And there's a lot of good stuff happening because it's so outrageous to shut off all the coal power plants when they're totally clean now in Australia and the U.S., and, will, and it's hurting people with only a third of them shut down. I mean, you've seen your power prices. I mean, going bankrupt ain't fun. Your kids not having food isn't fun, is it? While all this is going on, people are getting upset. Australian Prime Minister introduces bill to repeal carbon tax, and they've got the votes to do it. And the Australians have voted out two Prime Ministers who wouldn't repeal this. I mean, folks are getting angry, they're getting focused. And let me tell you something. Rand Paul picked up on our analysis last year, and we stopped the Syria attack. And after his leadership, Senator Cruz picked it up and others came out and it became okay to say, hey, we're not Al-Qaeda's Air Force. Obama's funding Al-Qaeda. The globalists totally freaked out over that. That's why they changed the name from Al-Qaeda to ISIS to confuse the sheep. That ain't working. I salute Rand Paul and his courage. I salute him. He shouldn't take too many plane rides. Let me tell you. He's the real deal and they know it. And he's as clean as a whistle and they know it and they don't like it. Anything happens to him, any, any, any of these guys, they've been set up. I don't know about Cruz, but I like him. But I can vouch for Rand Paul. I've known him for 18, 19 years. Now, let's get clear here. He came out. It's a long Fox piece. It's up on Infowars.com. And he said, look, we gave them the safe haven in Syria. That's a fact, Jack. And that's the issue here. Not, oh, I'm not defending Bush or Cheney. They're all part of the same plan. Oh, was it their fault they took Saddam out? Of course that was the plan. Now Saudi Arabia will be given full control. That's their payoff for being part of 9-11 and playing along with it. Man, it's so simple. Why did Iraq get attacked? They nothing to do with 9-11. Let's go to Rand Paul. Here's a clip. We are where we are because we armed the Syrian rebels. We have been fighting alongside al-Qaeda, fighting alongside ISIS. ISIS is now emboldened and in two countries. But here's the anomaly. We're with ISIS in Syria. We're on the same side of the war. So those who want to get involved to stop ISIS in Iraq are allied with ISIS in Syria. That is the, the real contradiction to this whole policy. Right, and many of your Republican colleagues would argue that what we should have done in Syria was uh, get rid of Assad, and that would have stopped ISIS in his tracks. But, no, but, but no, but we, we've done this. Look at Libya. Well, let's stop right we there. Went into Libya. And that's CNN. There was another one we've got of him on Fox. He's on there with Candy Crowley. Uh, also a Lord of the Rings character. Yeah, I bet you can guess. Cave Troll, sorry. The point is, got to have a little humor here, gallows humor. Get rid of Assad, get rid of ISIS? It's ISIS al-Qaeda trying to take Assad out. You give them a whole base? You give them a whole country in high-tech weapons, including chemical weapons? That would stop them taking Iraq? No, that, that's, they can't take Syria, so they're taking Iraq. This is pure bull. Pure bull. We'll be right back. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with 
pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.